Justin here from Dragon Blogger, helping you with another open broadcast software or OBS tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to talk about adding offline media, such as video files, or let's say you want to embed a YouTube video to show to somebody, or an Amazon video to show somebody. This is a tutorial on how you can sh add offline media into your stream scene, so that way you could talk over the media and tell people about what they're watching on the screen, and you can even add a webcam. So the first thing you want to do is set up your scene. Here I'm just using a tutorial scene, but you're going to want to create a separate scene that's dedicated to where you're going to put in your media. You can add a source to your existing scene, but I tend to like to use a different scene and, and set up for this. So then you're going to want to add something like your media itself. There's two ways you could do this. If you have an offline video file, you can add a media source. And here you can simply name your media source, what you want. Now let's say test video, right? And then you just want to click OK. And then you browse for your video file. And here you would go into wherever your video file is and just open up your video file here. Let's say I'm going to do my blue mic loop. And then here you have a choice. You want the video to loop or stop. If it loops, it'll just keep playing back to the beginning. If you don't have it looped, then it'll, it'll stop and it will just play nothing when it ends. Or you could choose what you want to do. So let's choose a video that I don't want to loop. Let's do... Let's choose... Uh, Let's choose this video. Okay, so we're gonna choose this video. I don't want it to loop because I want it to stop. You do restart playback when source becomes active means every time you switch to this scene or you hide, you know, you close the eyeball and open it up, it restarts the video. I don't need to use hardware decoding when available. It's not necessary. Show nothing when playback ends means it makes the video disappear and play whatever's under it on the layer in the scene. And close file when active, I recommend because it saves resources so it's not holding that file open in RAM. So I always recommend close file when inactive. So here, you're just going to click OK. And then you'll see your video starts playing immediately. And here's what you want to pay attention to. Look at the volume of your video. Now, when you're looking at your own open broadcast software or OBS, you can't hear your own video playing. So you have to kind of look at this and know that this is the volume your audience is going to hear. You're going to want to tune that volume down a little bit to where the green bars, the volume bars tend to not get above, I'd say, you know, with the minus 40, minus 35. That way people can hear it, but it won't drown out your microphone if you add your microphone on top of it. So now that you've got the video playing, you can do things like add, say, your microphone. So you would add audio input capture, add your microphone on top of it, and then if you add your microphone on top of it, now here is your microphone, and you see my microphone volume is much louder in the video, which means I'm going to be talking over the video. So you could be quiet to let them listen to the video, or if you want to talk over the video, just make sure your volume level is a lot higher in the video, or else they won't be able to easily distinguish what you're saying over the sound in the video. So now let's say you want to have your webcam on the side while you're actually watching the video. In this case, what you would do is you'd click on your video right here, and you can actually resize it. You see this little uh, bar right here? You can resize it. If it also is too large a video, like in this case, you can um, right-click, and then you can go to Transform, and you could say Fit to Screen. Then you can kind of resize it how you want it, and you can add another box here. And you can add, say, a webcam box and resize it wherever you want. You know, add an image, anything you want to add here, you can just kind of add that. It's not hard to do. Just play around with it. It's like sources and layers. You just layer things where you want them. Anything that's on the top layer will be on top of everything else under it. So you see how the dragon is on top because the video is below the dragon. But if I put the dragon below, it goes like that. So... Just know we're the same thing with the webcam. You could lay your webcam, just make sure it's on the top layers. Typically put your sound sources like mic at the very bottom because things that don't have visuals, those can be your bottom layers and then you just layer stuff on top of it. So that's how you add an offline video and upload it. But let's say you want to do a URL. So we're going to do a different type of source. We're going to hide that, hide that, and then we're going to do a different type of source. Here you're going to click on plus, you can add browser, and you're going to create a browser source. Let's just say I'm doing a YouTube video. So I'll say YouTube vid. Right, click OK. Now it's going to want you to add the URL you want to add. So you're going to want to go over to YouTube. Let's pick a URL we want to add. Copy the link of the URL from YouTube. Cut that in the URL there. And, and notice the, you know, the size of the window. 800 by 600 is default. But if you're streaming in 1080p and you want it to be full screen, you could just knock that to 1920 by 1080. Or if you're streaming in 720p, that'd be 1280 by 720. And then here's the other key. Here is it comes with some default custom. CSS, but if you want, you can remove that 
And that way you can do some scrolling. Because if you have this right here with this hidden, you won't be able to access the scroll bar of the window in case you need to scroll around. So in this case, I'll remove this. I will always shut down the source when not visible. And then I'll refresh the browser when the scene becomes active. So I'll do this and I'll put it in there. And now you'll have your YouTube video, a cozy which I can hear. Garden. With a kitchen where everyone can chef. So I'm going to mute that desktop audio so you can hear me. A family room, oh. you can let your hair down. And a backyard that is a tree-lined living room. Okay, so let me mute the video there and then get back to where I was at with this. So here's what we're going to do. As you saw, I had the browser source and it immediately started playing. May not want it to immediately start playing, but that's just what happened in this case. So I don't know why it automatically played just by loading the video, but that's the way it's set up. So what you could do here is click on the the um you click on the source, you click interact. This basically acts like a browser window that you can manipulate and move around, and the user or the viewer sees exactly what you're what you're doing in real time. So you could play the video, you could skip to specific portions of the video, in this case skip ads, and you could actually show the user. So you this is what the user's seeing or your viewer while you're manipulating the browser that they're watching here in this little pop-up window for the interact. So it's a useful way to show YouTube videos, to talk over them, and again, you can layer in your images or your webcam over it just by putting it above the layer and it works just fine. And you can kind of do whatever you want there. So that's how you add a YouTube video. The same thing for an Amazon shoppable video. If you're an Amazon influencer or live streamer and you want to showcase one of your shoppable videos, instead of uploading the video file or instead of on, if you don't have it on YouTube, you could just as easily add an Amazon shoppable video. It's the same thing. It's a browser source, but instead here you would copy in your shoppable video URL, which will always have an amazon.com slash VDP, and then you just click OK. And then once again, you would interact by clicking on your see, uh, your source, click interact, and then click hey, play, on, guys? My name is and then your video, and then your video will play, and then your audience will be able to watch and see that video while you could talk over it, or you could pause it when you want to like interrupt and say like additional you know detailed points and bolts and things like that. So. This is a little tutorial on how you can play around with adding offline videos, adding browser sources. Feel free to leave any questions you might have and have a great one.